What is going on everybody? I'm Tyler and welcome outside. Today is the start of something very different. You're sitting on top of it right now. I don't know if you'll ever guess, but this is something that I have had on my mind, something that I have wanted to do for a very long time. Always been enamored with the beauty of these things and wanting to build one myself someday. Uh, it's kind of just been lingering in the back of my mind for a long, long time. And uh, then the thought of maybe a restoration of something before the actual building of that for the first time on my very own. Um, I decided to do it. We have behind me a big project, but this, I hope, has the potential to be something beautiful. From what I can tell so far, what we have behind us right here is somewhere in the 1950 to 1964 era Pen Yen wooden boat. And I believe this is a Pen Yen Magellan craft right here. Now, doesn't that sound cool? It's beautiful. I mean, this is probably like when my wife and I bought our first house and I was like, there's so much potential. And she thought I was nuts. Probably with you out there, gentlemen, uh, first time buying a house, maybe your wife thought you were crazy when you were going to restore or remodel that house. But right here, like I said, Penyon, I think a Magellan. It's either a Magellan or a Baltic. If there are any experts out there, let me know. Uh, 1950s is what the title says, but the serial number and model number on the, well, the model number, I didn't put the serial number in yet, on the Evinrude V4 64, 60 horsepower motor back there, says 1964. Um, so I don't really know what year any of this stuff is. It's been very early investigations for me so far, but it's about a 16 to 17 foot, haven't put a tape measure on it, because I'm out here, I wanted to get this very early documentation and basically do a crime scene report of pictures and everything. So before I do anything at all, uh, I get everything, I get pictures, I get video, everything that we may need to be able to put this back together properly. Excuse the sun blasting over the edge right there. But this is gonna be uh, Ethan and my project for the next couple of winters. I'll take the cowling off the motor in a little bit, but it looks pristine. What's going on, everybody? Boat is right there. It's been in the barn for about a month. Whenever I shot this video, it's been in the barn, it's been drying out, and it's about ready to be worked on. Got a little sidetracked with projects at church um, that held me up, but we're ready to get started on the boat, and I'm excited. But I wanted to take a pause and tell you about the sponsor of today's video. I should probably be a little bit more embarrassed that I have eight pairs of Carolina shoes and boots, seven here, pair of Cardinals on my feet right now, but they got everything your feet could ever want. Your day job covered right here with a little aluminum toe. You wanna go hiking right there. If you wanna dress up for church right there. If you wanna dress up maybe a wee bit for a dinner date, they got you covered right there. This is time for some work right here. This is time for hunting or climbing on a roof with the Goodyear sole. These are insulated, they're fantastic. If you wanna do some real work in the mud, these are the boots for you. And then I have the uh, the Cardinal line on right here. A little bit bigger heel than the 28, but very comparable. After I broke them in, probably my favorite pair of Carolinas that I have. Now, like I said, I should probably be a little bit more embarrassed about these, but you got something for everybody, every foot style right here. My father-in-law has been wearing these, the eight inch size, the eight inch ankle for years and years. Carolina has actually graciously given a couple of pairs to my father-in-law. Right now, to the end of the year, use the code DIY15 for 15% off. And that's not just a couple of boots, that's completely site-wide. So make sure you give it a check. DIY15 for 15% off. Maybe get yourself another pair, get yourself close to my count, get yourself another pair for Christmas, get a pair for somebody else for Christmas. DIY15. Now let's get back, let me tell you what I'm gonna do for the boat. Like I said, got sidetracked with big projects at church that I was involved in, but I'm excited to start working on the boat. Let's get back to it. Trailer's great, all the hardware in there. If, I, if we do decide that we can't fix this, I only spent $250 on this. 
I don't know if uh, Brian, the guy that sold it to me, pulled my legs, but I have uh, the hubcaps for the wheels. He told me those are worth a hundred bucks right there. And he wasn't gonna give them to me, but when uh, he actually asked, you're, you're hoping to restore this. I said, I'm gonna give it a whirl. He said, well, I'll give you the hubcaps. So hopefully, hopefully we can get it restored. So he's got my card. Um, I actually need to meet him to grab the key in a couple of days. This is obviously not happening in the next couple of days here. This will be a long project to get this done. But uh, why is it 250 bucks? So as far as I can tell right now, and this was when I went into this, I saw all the leaves and the dirt in the bottom here. So according to Brian, uh, he had it for a couple of different houses that he moved in between and whatnot. Um, I think he said it was covered at one point, but then some squirrels got in here. Um, so there was dirt in the bottom, which made me figure that um, it's going to have some rot in the bottom. When I went and looked, it was honestly a little worse than I thought it was going to be. Um, but in the end, $250. I am pretty sure uh, the the mechanism, the shift mechanism, is worth more than that on its own if I do just put this into a different boat that I build from scratch or from a kit, or at least from a set of plans. But I don't think there is anything here on this boat that I cannot do. Um, it's going to involve some things that I've always kind of wanted to try, but never really had a reason to, like steam bending, because some of the ribs in the bottom here Actually, I would say most of the ribs from maybe this second bench back, so maybe a dozen, will all need to be steam bent, custom to each place, each placement here, and rebuilt. But other than, other than that, I mean, that's a lot of work. The sides are in good shape, but the bottom board, which entails from about here down, in the front it's very skinny here, but in the back it's maybe two or three foot wide on each side of the keel probably two and a half feet that board is going to have to be replaced and then you can see the keel is also completely trashed as well so basically from here down once we flip it over it's going to have to be replaced you can see the paint multiple coats of paint just scraping scraping right off of here so all that's going to have to come off uh, up here you could see what this probably used to look like, like right here and right there. I mean, call me crazy, but the life is still underneath this. So I'm, I'm just, I'm looking at pictures right now, geeking out about how, what a, just a beautiful job we can do on the front here with some good varnish. Um, I mean, I've only had this for a day, but I'm thinking natural wood, same as it is right here, which apparently most of this stuff is stained and it's not just natural wood. So natural wood here, maybe down the middle, the middle two pieces right here, we can go, or middle three, something like that. We can go with a darker, darker border, maybe on the side a darker border with the light, lighter wood inside and the white, the white caulk filler. That'll look nice. Wood on the side. I'm thinking to go with, uh, from what I can tell, the Penyan boats typically had white paint on the sides, uh, not natural wood all the way down. And uh, there's a specific name for this. I, I think it's actually clunker, but I'll, pu I'll pop it up here, of this kind of style of building a boat. So there's an overlap here and uh, an actual screw through there, and there must be a caulk joint of some sort. So that could potentially be a problem as we get in there and take a look. There could be leaks in there, but it looks like it's in pretty decent shape. So again, I think that's a clunker, clunker model, a clunker style of building that. Um, again, I'll pop it up right there versus a butt joint, which definitely does have some filler that's jammed in there. So we don't have to worry about that, which is nice. But I'm thinking, back to what I was saying, brown, penyon, original white down to the water line, which will probably be right about here. You can see the, the fly wing or whatever that is down there. And we'll do a stripe along, along the water line there. That stripe will match whatever interior color we do on the cushions. And then we'll do a, a brown stain or a brown paint that matches this on the bottom. And that should look pretty awesome. Uh, rebuild of the back transom back here. I mean, this is completely falling apart. Uh, I can, I, yeah, we can make that look real nice. And then this is actually a folding bench that pops right up there and clips into place. Um, no cushion on this back one, but I'm envisioning cushions. 
Um, maybe actually moving this bench back a little bit and maybe building it more into the back of the boat versus that, as it is right here. And then we got two benches right here. Whether we stick with the benches or I've actually seen pictures of different boats, not necessarily a Penyan that had uh, two bucket seats on the front. That could look pretty cool and that would actually give you some easy access to walk up to the front there. Maybe do benches on along the side and in the back. It's building the boat. It doesn't have to be the OG Penyan. I would like it to be, but uh, we're not dealing with a, a magnificent Chris Craft or something like that, which maybe someday we'll get to that. So anyway, I think I've talked for long enough. I need to get some forensic pictures of this thing. And this is going to be a long series of restoring this. It's going to be very different than the build videos that we've done in the past. It's not something that, you know, it's going to take a couple weeks to build. This is going to be a many months, if not several years project. Hopefully we can get some sponsors on board to help us bring this beautiful ba boat back to the original beauty that it was. I paid 250 bucks for this right now. From what I can tell, the Penyan Baltic Penyan Magellan was worth somewhere between 12 and $20 back in 1950, 1960 when you wanted to go buy this to take your family out on the water. So we don't have too much into it. Maybe with inflation, it's about the same. Obviously going to be pouring quite a bit of money into this as the time goes on. We want to redo the outside. We want to get some beautiful varnish on here, some new paint. We want to sandblast the trailer, get those $100 hub cuts back on there. We want to polish up all of the chrome. We want to get the new bimini top on there. We want to get some cushions inside in a beautiful color that we will match to the racing stripe down along the water line of this boat. And someday we will put it on the water and hopefully not go for a swim. But I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy this and join me for the ride. It's going to be something completely different. This is going to be a years long, definitely many months and years long project restoring this beautiful boat with my son and with my children and someday hopefully we can put this on the water and have a great story to tell but it is october 2nd in the year of our lord 2023 i'm diy tyler i have a boat and i am going to break out another thousand and see if we can get this thing on the water I hope you guys join me for the ride. Hit that subscribe button. Support the sponsors that are going to help us restore this thing to its former beauty. And you guys have a good one.